All righty, team. Might as well get things underway. Welcome to your free Saturday Hollywood session for today. As always with our Hollywood session, we're here to pump it. We want to work ourselves hard. Works the same as always when you came into class. You have two laps to get through, 27 exercises per lap. You're going to do every set, 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest, one set, move on. Just as always, we get that drink break in the middle, a little bit of a breather. But we've got a lot of good moves to choose from today, and they are as follows. So, it's the first one. First up, we're dropping down. We have mountain climbers so in that strong push up position. Just taking those knees in towards chest. Pretty simple there. Fast or slow, whichever you'd rather. Try and get that squeeze on the abs. Then we go into that funky A step. So, taking those legs up one at a time. Challenging our coordination and balance. And we have two jump squats into a bear crawl a little bit forward and then going back. When you get back to where you were, two more squat jumps. Then we have what's called a predator jack. So it's like a drop squat and a star jump all in one. Jumping those legs out, dropping down into a wide squat. Taking those arms out, flapping your wings, being free. Then we have a push up with a rotation. So you go into your push up to the bottom, turn yourself up, put one hand pointing towards the roof, come back down to the other arm. Number six, we have a 45 degree lunge. So you're going out on that lunge, not going all the way forward, not out to the side, but on that angle just in front. If that don't work for your knees, by all means go whichever direction works best for them. We then have a three-way mountain climb with both feet. So you're gonna jump both feet in, both feet to the left, both feet to the middle, back into towards you, and just going around like that. So out, in, towards you, out. Then we have an interesting one. We've got eight side sh uh, shuffles. Once you get there, doing like a curtsy squat, taking uh, your outside leg over across your body. Got eight shuffle steps back the other way. We then drop down. We have 10 more mountain climbers, taking those knees in towards the chest. After you've done those, roll over. And you have two hip thrusts laying on your back. Take those hips up, squeeze those glutes, get that good squeeze. We then have a bicycle ab crunch, working the abs here, working those six packs. And with this, making sure we get those shoulder blades up off the ground, it's really straightening through those legs. Try to get the elbow as close to your knee as you can get. We then have ten, uh, two lateral shoot through, sorry. So you're just hopping side to side, do two of those, then you drop down and 10 ice skaters and two lateral shoot throughs, my bad. So two lateral shoot throughs, and then when you're on your feet, you've got 10 ice skaters hopping side to side. We then have a prisoner squat. So hands go out behind the head, and we just drop down into that squat, going as low as you can, being under control. You can add some weight in there if you've got any, by all means. We then have five sprawls to so the bottom half of a burpee, you're jumping up, getting those hands up off the ground. After you've done those, you're going for two inchworms coming up and walking out as far as you can, getting those hands out past your head and walking back in. We then have five shuffles. Steps, the shuffle goes feet forward and back after you do six of those, going down into six drop lunges. We then have ourselves a low pulse push up. So you're doing your push up, but you're staying in the bottom 30% of this move, all the way down the bottom, and then just going through those reps, really pumping the chest out there. You're going to be really burning down in that bottom half of the rep. We then have 10 high knees. After you do those, not 10 high knees, you go to five drop squats, just jumping those legs out. Letting yourself drop into the squat, catching yourself at the bottom. Number 17, we just have hip thrusts straight for the whole set. Nice and simple, nice and easy. On your back, raise the hips up, squeeze the glutes. Get your body all in one line at the top. Make sure we do get that full extension coming through the hips and not through the back. Nice and simple after that as well. We've got a seal jack. So like our jumping jacks, so your hands go out in front of you. Instead, just going for that for that whole set. Nice and simple. And we have ourselves some flutter kicks. So lying on our back, we're just taking those legs up one at a time, just like that. Really, really, really trying to focus on getting your abs to work there. So if you're not getting them to work, bring your shoulder blades up off the ground. That should kick them in a little bit. We then have our explosive single leg deadlift. Like we're uh, running off the blocks from a sprint. Doing about five of those on each leg. Trying to be nice and balanced and explosive at the same time. My favorite move of the day, we have our push-up position donkey kicks. So. Stay nice and strong in the shoulders, jumping those feet in, and then kick him all out, all in one. We then have a 180 degree lunge reach. So you're doing your plyo lunge while re uh, reaching down to the ground, so getting a bit more glute work in there, and then you're spinning around in a circle. If you don't like spinning, you can just do it uh, staying facing forward the whole time. Number 23, we've got side burpees. So you do burpee, but on your way down, your feet go out to the side instead. 
Don't have to do a push up because of that. So that's bonus. Number 24, tough moves here. We've got five tuck jumps, getting those knees up as high as you can. After you've done that, two frog stomps. So stomp with those feet down and then back into those tuck jumps. Number 25, nice and simple again. You've just got high knees and glute kicks. So one of the warm up moves here. Just taking those nice and simple, get the knees up high and kick yourself in the butt with those glute kicks pretty much. Number 26, second last move. We have a reverse crunch lying on your back. You're crunching up your shoulders and your knees all at the same time, bringing both parts of the body together on that. And your last move, really gonna burn the legs out, going into a low squat, and then we're doing our reverse lunges from that position. So nice and good there. And they are your moves, team. We'll go through a warm up now. All right, team, time for you to get involved. Let's get stuck into our warm up, get your bodies primed and ready to go so that we can smash this 60 minute long set. All righty, team, we're starting to shuffle. We feel a little bit of a, some punches, just making that tempo flow. Then we're going down into a lunge, so a forward lunge. Once you're down there, we're twisting the whole body side to side and then coming back up, switching legs. Blowing up that whole body. We've got a couple of seconds left on that one. Next, we're going into a hip rotation. So we're just shuffling on the spot and then we're rotating them, that knee all the way around to loosen up that hip a little bit. Six mountain climbers and six heel clicks. Good team, in that push up position, we're doing one push up and then we're rotating each arm all the way through. Stretching out, warming up all of that upper body. Going into some back rolls. So grabbing the knees, just rolling forward and rolling back. Hip thrusters, guys, so down, laying on your back, feet are planted. And we're just making sure we're squeezing the glutes to warm up everything. Uh, we get, we're doing some A steps. So it is one of our exercises today. Just that little high knees with a little jump movement. Then we're doing some shuffling all in different directions. Good guys, a couple more seconds on that one. Doing some tuck jumps, rolling up that whole body, get them knees nice and high. Good guys. Alrighty, if you've got any weights or some gym style equipment that you can use, grab that out. We'll be showing you how to incorporate that into a few of the movements today. Otherwise, we're working for 40 seconds, resting for 15 seconds on each set, on and off, and we're gonna get going in 15. Thanks for joining us. Let's get stuck into a really good workout this morning and make it worth doing on a Saturday. Alrighty team, here we go. So we're starting off with those mountain climbers. Nice and strong in that push-up position. Take those knees in towards the chest. Remember we're trying to get that squeeze through the abs as well to get them doing their job. You're halfway through that set. So you got about 15 seconds left. Keep going. All right, 10 seconds left now, team. A few more reps, maybe 15 more. Two, one. All right, next one, you got some ice down. 
up on the feet, guys. Chest up nice and tall. Core engaged here. Seeing as we're bouncing around, we want to look after that lower back, your lumbar spine. Three, two, one. A stepping on the spot. Just imagine skipping and high knees got together and made some cardio loving and formed a little baby called an A step. It would look like this. So we're up and moving, we're skipping, we're driving that knee. Chaminda, lift that pace up, my man. I want to see you go double speed. Go on, let's get the body moving. We're working out on a Saturday morning. This is at 45, my brother. Let's put some work in. Come on. Working and burning and get the body going, guys. Another 10 more seconds to go. Don't cut, destroy. Keep it working. Good, Michelle. Get them up. You're looking good, you guys. Flee. All righty. Thanks for joining us. Three, two, one. Take a little break. We're going to do a couple of squat jumps and a bear crawl. Go forwards and back. Look after the shoulders. Look after the wrists on this one. Go at a pace that suits you. All right. Good morning, everybody. All right. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's go. Bear crawl and two squat jumps. Go, team. Nice and explosive with those squat jumps. Getting as much distance as you can between the floor and your feet. Jumping all the way up. Yes, Michelle. Love your intensity. You're awesome, like all of you are. Yeah, let's go, guys. Keep it up. You've got 15 seconds to go. Push through. Yeah, Chairman, nice. Good, guys. Keep going. Five seconds. Finish this one off. Three, two, one. Well done. We've got our Predator for Jacks next. All righty, team. We've got that heart rate rises, predator jerk, which means it's kind of like that star jump, but as we come out, we're going to that squat-like movement. Let's go. So as you can see on the screen, and Beth and Joe, they're just kind of like doing a seal jack kind of movement where the hands are coming out and feet are coming out, and then you go into a squat. Good guys, we've got 10 seconds. That's three, two, one. Nice stuff guys. Alrighty team, up next we have that push up with the rotation. Getting ready. All right, here you go, so drop it down. Do that push up, do one push up, turn one arm up, come back down, and then do the other arm. Really trying your best to get that chest all the way down to the ground. You can drop down to your knees with ease, use the side of a couch or anything like that to make an incline. Make it a little bit easier if need be. But just trying to go through that full range. All right, team, one more rep. Two, one. All righty, guys, a good one to incorporate some weights here. Carl's going to grab some dumbbells. Romy's going to grab a dead ball as I drop him in the deep end. We've got alternating lunges stepping out at a 45-degree angle. Our time is green. Let's go. Take that big step forward onto our front leg. Our leading leg is the leg that's working. That's the one that we're pushing out of to get back to where we started in that standing tall position. Always remember that your heel has got to be flat on the ground throughout this move and our back knee aiming to get down towards the floor. If you don't have the room to go on an angle, that's okay. Just go straight up and down your workout mat this morning. If you don't have a workout mat, go get one. They're like 10 bucks. They're important to use. Look after your hands and things, especially when we go down to the ground and when we're laying down doing crunches and stuff. Want to be looking after the body. Three more seconds to go. Two. One, nice. All righty, we've got our double foot mountain climbers going in three different directions. Double foot mountain climber goes straight up the middle and we jump out to the right. Straight up the middle again, out to the left. Do you get it? All right, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Jumping in the middle, jumping to the side, jumping in the middle and jumping to the other side. Let's do it, team. 
Bring those knees all the way up to where your hands are. Dropping the hips as you bring your feet in. Yes, good. I see you all working hard. Go, Felicity. Yes, Christy. Good, let's go. Keep that intensity nice and strong. 15 seconds to go. We're starting off strong, team. Love it. You guys are doing so good. And it's only in the beginning. Dun, dun, dun. All right, five seconds to go. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, yeah. Well done. We've got our shuffle with a lateral lunge mat. All right, team, you heard Dre, eight side shuffles with that diagonal reverse lunge when you get to the side. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, guys, so once you've done your shuffling, we're then dropping that foot back. Can add some weight if you like in this one. Good guys, we've got 10 seconds. Work hard, that's five, three, two, one. All right, team, this set, you got 10 mountain climbers and two hip thrusts. Bit of abs and glutes, here you go. 10 hip thrusts, take them either fast or slow, whichever you'd rather. You roll over, do some hip thrusts. You got some weight, you can add some weight in for that. We're gonna try to focus on that squeeze through the glutes in those hip thrusts, make sure they're working, get them activated. Get them to do their job, 10 seconds left. Two, one. All right, next up you got a bicycle ab crunch. Laying down on the ground, you guys. Want our back always flat against the floor. So keep your abs engaged, pulling your hips towards your belly button. Three, two, one. And we're bicycle crunching. We're working on all six of those abs, making up your six pack. Extend one foot way away from yourself as you bring the other one in towards your body. Elbow reaches across to the knee coming in, rotating your body to look out, opening up the chest. 20 more seconds for you to go. Who's looking good? You've all disappeared below your camera. I can't see. I've just got to trust that you're doing stuff. If you're laying down having a snooze, it's very sneaky. Good flea, looking strong. Keep going, Cristobal. I don't want you to double that speed last 10 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Like you mean it. I see everything. Three, two, one. All right. Lateral skaters and lateral shoot throughs. Many lateral things. All right. All right, guys, three, two, one. Let's do it. So two lateral shoot throughs, and then we've got those lateral skaters. Run, Lisa, run. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. Get those feet moving, keep twisting through. Well done. Good. Yes, Jaminda. That's it. Good. Nice, Lise. Is that Kim? Oh, it is. Hey, Kim. <laughs> All right, guys. Eight seconds to go. Let's go. Come on. Pushing through. Keep that core engaged. Three, two, one. Well done. High fives to all. All right, we've got our prisoner squat. Alrighty team, prisoner squats a really good chance to grab that weight or if you've got resistance bands, we're signing in a couple of seconds. Alrighty, let's go, 40 seconds guys. So you can either pop the resistance bands just above your knee if you've got the small little ones. Um, or you can do what Bev's doing. He's got a whole, like a long resistance band. He's got it by, um, through his feet and then coming up through his neck, shoulder area. So it gives a little more tension when you're squatting down. We've got 20 seconds, apart from that, keep your chest up, back nice and straight and your hands on your head. That's 10. 
Good guys, three, two, one, nice stuff. Alrighty team, what we have next, you have five sprawls, bottom half for burpee and two inchworms. So here you go. Start with those sprawls, bottom half. Keep those hands up off the ground. Five of those, once you've done that, you're going out into two inchworms. So you walk out as far as you can, then walk yourself back in. With those inchworms, try and get those hands past your ears. Maybe pass your head as far as you can get them, and then walk back in. No stopping at the shoulders on those. Two, one. All right, next up we have six shuffle steps and six drop lunges. All right, guys, warm up's over. Weights in hand, Carl. Chaminda, get some dumbbells. Let's go, if you've got some dumbbells nearby guys, you want them on this one. Couple of shuffles, let's go. Doing about six before dropping into our six plyo lunges. Let's get the work going on. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Plyo lunge, plyo lunge, plyo lunge. Come on, let's keep on working hard you guys. Let's get into it, good boy guy. Keep on working, that's it. Little shuffle on the spot, down we go into our lunges. Pressing through that front leg to get yourself back up to where we started. Yes indeed. Good, Sarah, working out outside. You got your workout buddy with you this morning. Nice to see. 10 more seconds for you to go, you guys. Let's keep the body pushing through. Christopher, you know what I'm gonna say. Let's pick it up. Good, Flea, good to see you including some weights. Harley, Dale, and Steve. All righty, take that break, you guys. Time is red. We're going down low into our push-up position and we're pulsing in place, just like this. Just little pulses. All righty, guys. Let's do it. If you guys have a bench, a chair, anything, you can also do an incline. Let's go. Yeah. We're keeping it nice and strong through the chest. Pushing away from the floor. Try and tuck those elbows towards your body. Squeezing your whole body, guys. Keep that core engaged. Keep your body nice and strong. Try not to dip that back. Good guys, looking strong. If you find this difficult, feel free to do normal push-ups as well. Five more seconds, let's go guys, two more, two more. Yes, nice, all right, rest. We're gonna move on to high knees and um, squats, drop squats. All righty team, 10 high knees and five drop squats. Three, two, one, let's go. So knees nice and high, and then the drop squats are just drop, jumping your feet out into that squat nice and quickly all the way in. Most important thing is guys, get them knees nice and high. That's it, we've got 20 seconds. Nice guys, keep that heart rate up. We've got 10 seconds. That's three, two, one. Nice stuff guys. Going to hip thrust the section, grab your weight. Alrighty team, here you go. Nice and simple with this. Use band, use your weight, use whatever you got. And then just raise the hips up, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze them as hard as you can. Make sure we get that good control through them. Also want to make sure we get those hips up so our whole body is in a straight line at the top of that. Don't want a little bit of a dip in our hips. Want to get them up in line. Couple more seconds, team. Give it up, a few more reps. Two, one. Alrighty, next up, you just got some steel jacks. Nice and easy there. Alrighty, these are just like a jumping jack, only we're opening the arms up wide. 
horizontally instead of going straight up and down. Let's go, time is green. This one is about getting that heart rate to stay up for the full 40 seconds that we're working. We don't wanna go slow. If you feel like you're going at a pace that you could do all day, then I want you to go faster and pump it out and only be able to do it for 40 seconds. Let's get that work going on. Good, Jazz. Good, a little bit quicker. Let's go. Let's go, that's it. Hot potato, you're standing on lava. Let's go, pump and pump and pump and faster flee. You got it, quads like that. You could do this forever. Quads of the gods. I'm envious. I can't wear shorts near you. Michelle, keep it working. Let's go faster. Five more seconds to go. Three, two, lightweight baby. All right, and we're down on the ground. We're working some abs. We've got our leg scissors. Keeping the back flat against the floor. All righty. All right, guys. So you want to keep that lower back into the ground at all times for this one and fluttering your feet. Let's do it. 40 seconds of core. Pump it out now. So you can take your time with it. We just want to make sure that that back is really pushing into the floor. You can lift your neck up, so crunch up as well. You might feel it a little bit more like Carl and Bev are doing now. You can pause it like Bev and pause one leg at a time. Just keep it nice and controlled. Working that core, guys. 10 seconds. Let's go. Dropping down a little bit lower if you can. Try and get it low. If your back is arching, then bringing up higher. All right, team. Well done. You can rest now. Woo! Stretch out that tummy. All right. Now we've got our single leg. All right, team. Explosive single leg deadlift kind of thing. We've got five on each, and then we're swapping. Three, two, one. Watch your screen. Follow Bev and Joe. It's kind of like a fast deadlift movement where we're single leg deadlift movement where we're stepping that, um, stepping on that one foot as the other one's coming back and our chest is coming down to hit the floor. And then when we're coming up, we're bringing the knee up and doing a little single leg hop. If you can't keep the balance, you can just tap the back foot on the floor that's coming down. Just slightly tap it so you keep that balance and then come up. We've got 10 more seconds. Good stuff, guys. That's three, two, one. Nice, have that rest. We're in a push-up position and we're doing them doggy kicks. The fun begins, team. Greatest move of the day. Oh yeah, here we go. So we got those donkey kicks. A nice, strong push-up position. Got those legs in and straight out the back. So you should feel this work into your shoulders a little bit. They're doing a hell of a lot of work. Keep you there. Abs doing some good work. Glutes are as well. Try and do as many of these as you can. Looking fantastic, team. Loving the effort. All looking great. We've got about 10 seconds to go. See you on the bus. Joe's going to have to play that later. Oh, wow. Cheers. Two, one. Alrighty, this one's really gonna make the quads burn, you guys. We're leaning right over that front leg as we hop from one leg to the next, trying to make our fingertips touch the ground. Let's go. Jumping out of leg to leg. Now, of course, you can make this as hardcore as you like. You can also regress it quite the way back. If you're jumping and reaching down, that's 10 out of 10 in terms of intensity. If you need to scale it back and only reach halfway down your shin, you can do that. If you don't want to lean down at all and kind of just do normal reverse lunges, you can absolutely do that. Find something that suits you this morning and we'll smash through our workout doing a workout for you. You don't always have to do exactly what we're doing out here. We're showing you one version. You can change it to something that suits you better if need be. We change stuff every so often. Three, two, one. Good. I just distracted you and talked that whole set. Nice work, everybody. We got burpees going out to the side. No push up. All right, guys. Simply just jumping the feet out to the side, back up, then out to the other side. Let's go, 40 seconds. Yeah, nice. Good. That's it, oh. Let's go, guys, let's go, come on. All right, halfway through the set now. 
Stay strong. Let's go, Christy. Go, Michelle. Nice. All right, guys, 15 seconds to go. Let's go. Pick up the pace. Try and smash them out now. Yes, good. Harley's team, well done. Let's go. Come on, keep going. Five seconds. Don't stop, guys. Keep going. Last one, last one. Three, two, one. All right, rest. We've got tuck jumps now. Fun stuff. All tuck jumps. So five tuck jumps, two frog stop. All righty, team. You guys know what to do. We're starting in three, two, one. Tuck jumps as we're getting them knees nice and high, distance from ourselves to the floor. And then we're coming down into that low squat position. And one leg at a time, we're kind of stomping down to the ground. So two of them, and then come up again. If you have any injuries and you can't do tuck jumps, you can just do jump squats. That'll be burn a two when we're going down into the jump squats and then the frog stomps. 10 more seconds. You guys have got it. We've got five, three, two, one. Nice, guys. That's toasty. Alrighty team, here we go. So we've got high knees and glute kicks. So we do about 10 high knees and 10 glute kicks. Give or take. So really with these, trying to get those knees up as high as we can. Do your best to keep that heart rate going. You're about 20 seconds down, so that's 20 seconds to go. Keep up the good stuff. And then a couple more exercises after this when we get to that break. Just keep going, push yourself. Three, two, one. Last work team, we have a reverse crunch next. Down we go to the ground again. Give the legs a little bit of rest. Chance to recover. We're on in three, two, one, let's go. Crunching our upper body up towards our legs and our knees in towards our upper body. Heels coming all the way down until they give the ground a little love tap and then straight back up. Let's squeeze those abs, you guys. What a song. What a song. What a great tune, Hysteria by Def Leppard. One of Bevan's favorites. Number three of all time after Hell's Bells and Champagne Supernova. 15 seconds for you to go. You all just got an update into Bevan's life. Let's work it hard, team. Come on, Jazz. Keep it pumping. Keep it going. Good, Michelle. That's it. Stretch on the way down. Squeeze on the way up. One more rep. Two. One. All righty, we're back on the legs. All right, guys. The final station, then you get a break. So in that low squat at all times, and you're going to go into a reverse lunge, then back into the middle squat and back into a lunge. Staying low the whole time. Let's go. Let's go. Good, Jazz. Nice. Love it. Good, Felicity. Nice. Good. That's it, guys. They're staying low. Good. Nice, Harley. That's it. A little bit lower with that lunge. There we go. Good. Work those glutes. Good, a little bit lower, Michelle. Bend that knee a bit more. Doing good. So strong. Love it, guys. Go, chairman. That's it. Good. Going to that lunge. All right, you guys get a break now. Well done. You get a one minute break, and we're back to do it all over again. So use your time wisely, my friends. Me. All right, guys, 15 seconds, and then we're ready to rumble. Well done so far, everybody. If you've stayed with us, nice work. You've done one lap. We're going to do all that again. Let's get ready to go, starting off with our mountain climbers. 
in five seconds. All righty team, three, two, one, down and up, push up position. And we are doing mountain climbers the whole time. So making sure your shoulders are in line with your hands. And we're just getting them knees nice and high, nice and fast as you can. If you want to slow down the movement towards the end, that's fine. We've got about 25. Good guys, halfway through, 20 seconds. Keep strong through the core and the upper body. You have 10 seconds. Good team, three, two, one. We're going into our A steps. All right team, here we go, A steps. Challenging that coordination and balance, getting that one leg up at a time. Yeah. Hopefully you got enough rest in on that break to give this second lap everything you've got. You've got about halfway through this set to go. All right, 10 seconds left, take a few more reps, keep it up. Two, one. All right, next up we got the two squat jumps and the back roll. Good one to challenge yourself for this morning, guys. We're working that lower body and the upper body, forcing the body to do heaps of stuff. Let's go. While our time is green, we're on. We did it last round. You guys know how to do it. A couple of those jumps, and then down into our bear crawl, looking after the wrists, and push the ground away as you are going backwards through that bear crawl. Push with your hands. So as Carl starts to go backwards here, he's shoving the ground away, just as you would do with your legs when you're walking. It makes sense. You guys know how to do it. You learned to walk when you were so young. Now you're old and wise. You can do anything. I don't mean old like decrepit old. Just older, more mature. 10 more seconds to go. Five teeny tiny seconds. Let's bust it out. Keep it going, sir. One more jump. Go on. Nice. All righty, Predator Jacks. All right, my old people. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're going into those predator jacks and into, into that nice big squat and then back in. Let's go. Bringing your hands in with your legs. You can use a weight if you want. How good are Bev's stories? None of them make sense. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to keep that pace nice and strong. If you've got a weight, use it. Yes, Kim, go. Go, Lace. That's it. Well done, guys. Go, Jazz. Come on. Go, go, go. That's it. All right. Six seconds. Finish off strong. Yes, Michelle. Go, Felicity. Yes. All right. Well done. We've got push up with a rotation now. All righty, team. Rotational push up. So we're just in that push up position. Doing a rep. Beth is going to show you how to incorporate weight. Charminda, get your weights on. All righty, 40 seconds, guys. If you're doing some weight, um, you can do that push up and then bring the dumbbell up with you as you're rotating, kind of like you um, would do if we're in the studio. I know we've done that movement a couple of times. But we've got 25 seconds. Other than that, making sure whatever you're doing, you're just doing push up. 20 seconds left. Good guys, 10 more seconds. Push yourselves team, we've got three, two, one. Keep your weight, we've got that 45 degree lunge. All righty team, here you go, 45 degree lunge, grab some weights for this. And then going out on that angle, so not to the left, not to the straight forward. On that angle. Try, 
Trying not to let that front knee check over your toes when you're doing these. Trying to keep it behind. So nice and safe on our joints. Coming in all the way down and getting that back leg about a millimeter off the ground. You're about 10 seconds left. All right, team, having your rest. We have the three way. So I'm put mountain climber up next. Really strong through our chest and shoulders here, guys, and our core to keep our body elevated from the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. Jump the feet to the left, both knees up the center, then jump the feet to the right, trying to clear onto the outside of your workout mat. That way we know we're getting wide. Should start to feel the obliques a little bit on this one. If you don't know what the oblique is, it's the bit in between your rib cage and your hip running down the side of your body. They're the stuff that stops you falling over from one side to the next. Let's keep it working. Good, sir. I keep you going. I like it. That's excellent stuff. Both of you guys, you and your workout buddy this morning, who I can't see. I can just see his bum bobbing up and down. Three, two, one. McNice. All righty, guys. Bit of a shuffle and our curtsy squat. All right, guys. So when you're going into that curtsy squat, you want to bring that knee just behind your ankle. That's the goal here. And we're on in three. Two, one, let's go. So quick little shuffle and down into a lunge. Yeah, that's it. Good. Good guys, if you've got weight, feel free to use it. Just to make it all so much harder. Good. That's it. Keep it up guys, in that lunge. Good, 15 seconds to go. That's it, Felicity, nice. Good, good form there. Go, Christy, go. Get that lunge in, five seconds to go. Let's go, one more on each side. One more on each side. All right, good job. All right, we've got our hip thrust now and our mountain climbers. Yeah. Cool, you guys. We've got 10 mountain climbers and two hip thrusts. So grab your weight. Three, two, one, let's go, 40 seconds. So you can use resistance band to do what Joe's doing. She's just going to do the hip thrust and then go into mountain climbers. So that'll make it a little harder too. <laughs> 20 seconds left, guys. Whether you're using weight, resistance bands, no weight. We've got 15 seconds. <laughs> That's 10, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Nice team. Have that rest. Staying down there doing them bicycle crunches. So. All right, team. Here we go. Bicycle crunches working on those abs. You do it in the conventional way. Trying to get that elbow as close to that knee as you can. You're really trying to get, make sure those shoulder blades coming up off the ground so you get that upper abs engagement and then straighten those legs out so those lower abs doing as much work as they possibly can. You got 15 seconds left. Keep it up, team. Abs might be pumping a little bit. Fight through it. Two, one. All righty, guys. Ten times we're hopping side to side throughout our lateral skater. Two times going side to side through our shoot throughs. If you're out there and you don't know how to do a shoot through, you're starting off on all fours in tabletop position. Then lift your left hand up, poke your right foot through and then come back to center. If that messes with your brain this early on a Saturday morning, I don't blame you. We'll just do all the jumps side to side all the time. We'll get a full, big, good set of that. Let's work that body out. Come on, squadron. 10 more teeny tiny seconds for us to work and burn. Let's get the body moving. Hustle, bustle, build up some muscle. Three, two, wow. 
Cruise the squats. Ready, steady. Let's get sweaty. All right, guys. Hands behind the head. Squatting down. If you've got a band, use it. If you've got weights, get them. Let's go. Yes, nice, Sarah. Good. That's it. Nice. Maybe try to bring the band a little bit lower. Might help a little bit so it's not hurting your neck. That's it, guys. Good. Keep going, guys. Squatting down as low as you can. Push the floor away from you. Pressing with the heels and the balls of your feet as well. Yes. Love how in, how in sync you guys are, Lisa and Kim. Very cute. Five seconds to go. Let's go. Three more reps. Down, up, down, up, and pause. Rest, guys. Well done. We've got five sprawls now. That bottom half of a burpee with two inchworms. Five squirrels, two inch ramps, guys. You did it before. Watch your screen, Joe. Let's go. 40 seconds. So bottom half of the burpee is that squirrel like Bev and Joe's doing. And then that inch ram is just slightly, um, slowly, sorry, bring them hands out, reaching all the way out and then coming back in. Go guys, so two in front, remember, and five scrolls. We've got five to go. That's three, two, one. Nice team. Have that rest. We're going to that little shuffle and then drop into six. All right, team, here you go. Six drop lunges and six shuffles. Shuffle those feet forward and back. After you've done that six times, drop down six plyo lunges. Jumping from one lunge to the next. Being nice and explosive. All right, you got 20 seconds left, team. Keep it up. These are a tough one. Ten seconds left, see if we can make one more round of those two moves. <coughs> and two, one. Alrighty, next up. Gonna pump out the chest a little bit. And by a little bit, he means a lot. I wonder if Carl's gonna use the resistance band. Peer pressure. <laughs> no, he says. Three, two, one, let's go. Down we go into our low push-up position and stay there. If you're on the knees on this one, that's totally fine. If you've got your hands up on a nearby coffee table or retaining wall or a couch or a bench or a something, then that's going to make your upper body life a little bit easier. If you're down on the ground, let's churn them out. Kim Gad, let's go faster if you're not doing those push-ups. Let's go. All the way up, all the way down. Let's go. Come on, Lisa, destroy. Last 10 seconds for you to go. Go, Sarah, go, Jazz. Blank hook. Give me two more. One more. All right, take that break. We're up. We got high knees and drop squats. So 10 high knees, five drop squats. Three, two, one. So let's keep those knees up high. High, 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 no jogging. And then down into five drop squats. So you're just quickly tapping your feet in and then back out into that squat. So a quick tap in and down. Good guys, we're nearly done. So let's make sure that you're making every second count here. You're here for a workout. So push yourselves mentally and physically. Let's go, 15 seconds to go. Get the knees up, up, high, high. That's it, good. Nice, let's go guys, into those squats. Five seconds to go, finish off strong, keep going. Double the speed. Okay, good work, rest. We now have our hip thrust. Just hip thrust. All right, team, so just hip thrust, so grab your weight, resistance bands, and whatever you want to use, just starting in a couple of seconds. All righty, let's go guys. So good one to go nice and heavy if you've got heavier weights. 
Otherwise, if you've got resistance bands, they're really good to use for this as well. That's it, team. 20 seconds, so halfway through. Let's get them reps in. Make sure squeezing for a little bit when we get up the top two. Good team. Three, two, one. Nice stuff. All right, team, here you go. You got 40 seconds of straight seal jacks. That's all you got to do. Take those feet in and out, take those hands in and out. Give yourself a bit of a clap while you're doing it. Um, two months of this. Just trying to aim for at least one a second so you get about 40 in this set. All right, team, 10 to go. Keep it up. Last 10. We move on again. All right, team, that is it. Next up, we have flutter kicks. All right, team, down we go on to our backs. Three, two, one. Let's go. A couple of really important points here. We do not. Under any circumstance, want your hands underneath your butt. That's a bad place to be, it's cheating. We want your abs squeezed so that your lower back is pressed flat into the floor, pushing into the floor. If you can poke your hand underneath your lumbar spine, pretty much where your kidneys are, then your back is getting an arch. We don't want that, we want the abs engaged. If you've got that arch, then you're using hip flexors instead of abs, and this is an ab move. I'll let you know when there's a hip flexor move. 10 more seconds to go. Let's get your heels way down closer to the floor. Way down, one heel at a time. It's got to be brushing the fibers of the carpet or the grass or the whatever, wherever you are. Three, two, one. Let's do our single leg bounce. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So bringing one leg back, the leg that is coming back, you are placing that hand down into the floor and then exploding that knee up. So using that momentum, let's go. Yes, good, good. Sarah's partner, I can't see you, <laughs> but that's good, well done. If you find it difficult, feel free to place the foot down onto the floor. Otherwise, you can keep it hanging. Good. Nice lace, bring your leg a little bit further back. Yeah, there we go. There we go, lace, love it. <laughs> that's it getting that knee up as well guys nice and explosive five more seconds work it work it yes good work Woohoo! we've got the brutal donkey kicks all righty team push up position we're doing donkey kicks like you did before three two one let's go we're just kicking back Having all that tension through the upper body. <laughs> Good team, we're coming to halfway, 20 seconds. Really get them hands, I mean them feet up. Good Lisa, let's keep it up. Good team, have that rest. Ooh. All right, then we have a 180 sprinter lunge, plyo lunge, so you're doing your plyo lunge, spinning around in a circle, but yeah. But you're leaning down as well, so that's gonna put a way more focus on your glutes than normal as you're getting through that, in that hip extension, hip flexion, sorry. Spin around the 180, that's optional here if you're getting dizzy. Just stay in the one point. 
Aiming forward. You've got 10 seconds left. Push it out to the end. And two, one. All right, I'll tell you next up we have side burpees. It's a burpee to the side. That's my side burpee song. Three, two, one, let's go. All righty, Krista Ballard, you owe me an extra five seconds working through the break. That's right, I'm in your lounge room with you. I'm like Santa. I see, see you when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. I, I know when you're getting the pump on and when you're slacking off. We'll push you to get more. Let's go team, 15 more reps. Let's go flee faster. Down you go, straight out, straight back up. Good, down, harder, faster. Let's work it out guys, come on. You got less than 10 seconds, let's pump out three more reps. That's one, do it again, two, one more time. Good, Christy Ballard, one more for you. All right, nice work, legend. Bad news, everybody. We've got tuck jumps and frog squats. Holy moly. All right, guys, this is brutal. Starting in two, five tuck jumps, two frog stomps. So getting those knees up. Alternative is squats. So you can do like a squat with the pulse up. Do that five times, then followed by two frog stomps. So staying nice and low with that squat at all times. If you choose to do the alternative. Or jump squats, you can do jump squats. That's it guys, good chair man, nice. Good. All right, 10 seconds left, come on. Let's go guys, one more combo. Five and two. Push yourself, get those knees up. Deep breaths, exhale and rest. All right, we have our high knees and back kicks next. All righty, team. High knees with that glute kick. Three, two, one, let's go. So most important thing is here, let's not get lazy with the high knees, making sure they're coming right up to that chest area, meeting the hands where you've got them. And then when you do the glute kicks, just get your feet nice and back to that. Aiming to kick the butt there. We're halfway through, 20 seconds. Good team, 10 to go. Push you, keep that heart rate up. We've got five, three, two, one. We've got them reverse. All right, team, here you go. Second last move. Reverse crunches. Try to get as good of a squeeze through your abs as you can. Get those strong blades off the ground as far as you can. Bring those knees in as much as you can. <coughs> good thing about this, you get your upper and lower abs all working together. You got 15 seconds left, keep pushing it out, don't give it in. 10 seconds team, couple of reps. All right, and that is it. On to the last move. Our low squat, the first slide. Well done everybody. You have made it right to the end of the workout. We are up to our lucky last set. Station 27, let's go. We're down in our low squat position and we're working. Christy Ballard. Let's get some. Come on, everybody. Sink into that low squat so your bum is down low, but I want the chest and the upper body facing upwards. You look towards us as we are looking towards you. Let's keep that back nice and flat and straight from the hips to the bottom of your neck. Keep that body straight and then stepping back into that lunge. If you're holding some weight, you are hardcore and I'm impressed. Let's keep that body moving. Sarah, straight up animal style. That is just crazy. We got three, two, one. All right, you guys. Hey, well done. You just did that. 
What a fantastic way to start off our Saturday with some Hollywood. Thank you very much for joining us. It was our pleasure to guide all of you through this session this morning, and we hope you feel like you got something out of it. If you're from our newly included Gisborne community, it's our pleasure to have you training with us in summary. Gisborne's probably going to be open up in around about that six weeks, but don't hold me to it. It all depends on COVID, et cetera. But summary's opening up, fingers crossed, at around the 22nd of June. So if you're looking to try at F45, you can definitely come and do a free trial here. We're doing that for two weeks, so you can train for two weeks in summary absolutely for free and test out what F45 is live in the studio. But thank you for joining us today via F45 Live via Zoom from Carlos, Roll Roll, and Jojo, and Bev and myself. It's been our pleasure. Hope you enjoyed it. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.